everyone, welcome to the Monday Wrap. Uh, plenty to talk about in terms of uh, cricket over the weekend, uh, so let's get straight into performance of the week. Uh, not too many uh, big scores out there, um, but loads of wickets. So let's knock off those scores first of all then. Um, 100 out there for Ollie Pringle for Papatoe, uh, and a few 80s as well, Kyle Ruffle uh, for Grafton in that same game. Uh, Madhup Madaraj for 83 for Ellerslie, and also Anaru Kitchen, 87 not out here for the Aces yesterday in their uh, win over ND, more of which uh, in a minute. Uh, but as I said, loads of wickets, lots of five wicket bags out there. Brad Schmuling, another five for, uh, for Bays, five for 69. Uh, Brad Schmuling, five for 38 for Cornwall. Uh, Vedant Zaveri, five for 49 for Uni. Azar Bass, five for 66 uh, for Eden Roskill, and he also hit a half century. Uh, and then Matt Newman, a six for, uh, six for 78 uh, for Ellerslie. Uh, but uh, the only seven for, for the week um, plus a five wicket bag, uh, Vishy Jeet for uni, 7 for 58, then backed it up with uh, 5 for 30, and on top of that, he also hit 44 not out for uni as well. So, um, pretty clear cut this week. Uh, our performance of the week, Vishy Jeet, fantastic day's work considering it was all on, uh, all on the Saturday. So, yeah, well, well played, mate, and uh, that really tightens up that battle in uh, the Tom Hellaby Trophy. It means that uni and Cornwall are now only uh, just over one point apart, so two games to play, and it's really coming down to the wire there. Uh, in the Headley Howarth, uh, we've got Suburbs maintaining their lead at the top. Could have been even more if they picked up that outright, uh, but just missed out. So uh, they're still sitting on top. Relegation battle's probably going to be between Grafton and Howarth by the looks of things. Uh, Papatoe um, and Birkenhead have cleared away from them with two rounds to go. Jeffco Cup at the weekend. Uh, we also found our finalists there. Uh, congrats to Suburbs and to Parnell. Parnell trying to defend uh, their title. Suburbs got up over Cornwall. Parnell uh, rolled tacker in those games. So that's the game uh, 16th of March uh, between those two sides. And that will be out here on the number two uh, at Eden Park. So good luck for that. And get down if you can. It's always a great day, uh, that final. Right, speaking of the number two, uh, the Aces were out here yesterday. Kicked off their Ford Trophy. Uh, campaign. Absolute uh, plethora of black caps on both sides. Uh, McLennan, Mills, Guptill, Munro for us and, and uh, Watling, Williamson, Anderson, Bolt for, for ND. Uh, but we made no race of it. Uh, great bowling by Mitchell McLennan, 4 for 36 uh, to restrict ND to 195 and then Anna Kitchen stepped up with about 87 not out plus um, helped out by Colin de Gronholm at the end to finish it off. Convincing win, bonus point win in fact. Fantastic start to the defence of the four trophies. So Another game virtually straight away, it's bang, bang, bang stuff uh, for them down to CD. Um, we've got another game back here next week. So good luck to the boys in that campaign. Let's hope we can finish off the Aces season uh, with another trophy. And uh, finally for this week, uh, congrats to uh, the White the Hearts and the White Ferns uh, for closing out 3-0 series win over the Windies and then a 1-0 20 victory. Holly Huddleston made her debut in spectacular fashion, five wicket bag, awesome effort on her debut. And uh, well played to all the girls. Sarah McGlashan, I uh, got a 70 and, and another 50 in that series as well. So looking in great form. And they're obviously all off to the World T20 very shortly, as are our Black Cat boys as well. So good luck to both sides and great to see them uh, shaping up well. That's us for uh, the Monday Wrap for this week. We will see you in seven days' time on the next Monday Wrap.